hello guys in this video lecture i'll be talking about tautomerism and its types of tautomerism and i'll be discussing keto enol tautomerism first in detail and then i'll discuss more uh, types of tautomerism later on in this video so this video will be added into the organic chemistry playlist where i have put lots of videos related to organic chemistry basically they are all concepts related to basic organic chemistry such as resonance inductive effect functional groups and acidity basicity you name it you know these are the basics of organic chemistry so this video will video will be added into the organic chemistry playlist on my channel let's start with the keto enol tautomerism so as the name indicates keto means ketone and enol means a functional group which contains en and ol in means alkene and ol means alcohol okay that's why we are calling it in ol again en e in means double bond alkene and ol means alcohol have a look at this this is enol because it contains double bond and oh group why this is keto because it contains ketone functional group so this is keto now the tautomerism is uh, just shifting of protons or switching of protons look at this ch3 remains ch3 of the left hand side oxygen gets the proton one hydrogen and one hydrogen is shifted from this ch3 towards oxygen the shifting of proton or the transfer of proton internally within the structure within the same molecule is called tautomerism so keto form is electrophilic electrophilic means electron deficient species any nucleophile can attack on the carbonyl carbon of the keto and enol form is a nucleophilic because we have oxygen which provides extra electron and pi, pi bond is also there so electrophilic means it reacts with nucleophiles at carbonyl carbon acidic at alpha carbon so the carbons which are next to carbonyl group carbonyl group is carbon double bond oxygen so as a carbons which are next to alpha carbon are called acidic carbons and hydrogen act as bond acceptor Where, whereas enol form is a nucleophilic in nature it reacts with electrophile at alpha carbon so that's the alpha carbon which can attack on any electrophile and this can act as a nucleophile and these are the acidic at oxygen this OH group is acidic hydrogen bond donor and acceptor so oxygen uh, has, having free lone pair of electrons can act as a donor or hydrogen bond donor so equilibrium between isomers not resonance under most conditions keto form is favored important for aldehydes ketones but not so much for carboxylic acids esters and amides under normal conditions so normally speaking keto form is most stable than enol form but in some cases enol form is more stable than keto form we will see in detail later on in this video how uh, how and where enol form is more stable than the keto form let's move on and the factors that uh, affect the tautomerism are aromatic city and hydrogen bonding so for example phenols can theoretically exist in their keto form but the enol form is favored due to aromatic stabilization so that's the case where enol form is more stable than the keto form due to aromatic city because when we have a phenol which is in enolic state it is aromatic hence it's more stable whereas the keto form of the phenol uh, is less stable or is not absorbed at all because it's not aromatic the reason why phenol is more uh, stable or the enol form is more stable because of aromatic character in present in the phenol second case is the hydrogen bonding so hydrogen bonding uh, plays an important role in determining which form is going to be more stable either keto form or the enol form have a look at this structure this is one three dicarbonyl compound so it's a one three diketone this is the methyl group which are uh, acting as alpha carbon so it still supplies when ch3 groups are replaced by alkyl or nr2 etc but the ratio will be different so in water we have 24 percent keto form and 76 percent enol form this is another case where enol is more stable than the keto form but generally speaking in 
uh, enol form is less stable than keto form but there are some cases where enol form is more stable than the keto form first one was aromatic st second one is hydrogen binding now if we have a keto uh, enol form of this structure then we have we would have uh, this intramolecular hydrogen binding that makes a cyclic structure and it's stabilized through hydrogen binding this enol form is stabilized through hydrogen binding hence it's more stable equilibrium is will be favored in the direction of enol form rather than the keto form that's why enol form is more stable due to the hydrogen binding when a Lewis acid group is present hydrogen binding stabilizes the enol form this can shift the equilibrium almost completely to the right so these are the two cases where the enol form is more stable but generally speaking keto form is more stable case number three that is the solvent effect so again you you have this 1,3 diketone functionality but if you are using uh, benzene as a solvent then we you would have a 6 to 9 ratio of keto enol hydrogen binding solvent will make lone pairs less available for bonding if you are using water as a solvent then you will have a enol form a keto form more stable and enol form more less stable so if you are using non-polar solvent like benzene then enol form is more stable if you are using polar solvents such as water then keto form is more stable in the same structure that's the effect of solvent on the keto enol tautomerism that's the effect number three the number one effect was aromatic city number two effect was hydrogen burning and number third effect we discuss we are discussing right at the moment is solvent effect and number four is the conjugation effect for example structure a is in the keto form and these structures are in enol form okay now if you look at this double bond is in conjugation with phenyl and here double bond is not in conjugation with phenyl which enol form is favored for the ketone a that's the question i'm asking you guys to answer so what will be the effect of conjugation on the keto enol form the question is in structure a is a keto form that could adopt either this one or this one but in the first one this case double bond is in conjugation with phenyl ring in the second case double bond is not in conjugation with a phenyl case number five is substitution which ketone will favor the enol form more a or b that's also a second question i'm asking you so you need to answer these question number four, uh, four and five in the comments below in this video i'll try to answer uh, your questions if you have different answers or if you have more difficulty answering these questions okay let's discuss more types of tautomerism widely studied uh, tautomerism is keto enol tautomerism that's the one enol form and the keto form but there are also other types of tautomerism such as lactam form and the lactam form so lactam is a cyclic amide so it's a cyclic structure this uh, it could be a four member ring it could be a five member six member seven member so it functionality that is present in lactam is amide amide functional group so what happens is this hydrogen that is with nitrogen goes to oxygen and the double bond is between is shifted between carbon and nitrogen instead of carbon and oxygen in lactam form that tautomerism is called lactam form and lactam form tautomerism and next type of tautomerism is amide form and imidic acid form so this is amide functional group now this is involved in tautomerism what happens the proton which is attached with nitrogen goes towards oxygen and the double bond between carbon and oxygen is shifted towards the carbon double bond nitrogen so that's the imidic form that is the tautomeric form of the amide this is a secondary amide which is which tautomerizes into imidic form that is the third type of tautomerism first one we study is keto enol form second one we study is the lactam lactam form and third one we are discussing amide and imidic form and the next one is amine and imine form this is the tautomerism that exists when we have NH2 group in the aromatic ring particularly so amine contains two hydrogens attached with nitrogen what happens is one of the nitrogen um, picks the uh, one of the hydrogen from the nitrogen goes towards the ring nitrogen and the double bond between this nitrogen inside the ring moves towards the outside the nitrogen 
and that's how we have imine functional functionality imine functionality is carbon double bond nitrogen having hydrogen that's imine and amine amine is NH2 that is another type of tautomerism that is amine and imine and we already discussed the keto enol tautomerism and we also discussed in which cases in what situations enol form is more stable than the keto form okay let's move on this is imine and inamine tautomerism so imine and in amine tautomerism what happens is imine picks the proton and then tautomerizes into inamine so inamine is carbon having single bond with nitrogen and carbon having double bond with carbon but in imine we have a carbon double bonded nitrogen that is the difference this is the imine form in amine form and that is the tautomerism is a change in position of hydrogen atoms or proton prepared with a shift in the position of a pi bond in this mechanism the imine has a hydrogen at the carbon alpha to the cn bond this this proton is lost to create the in amine as the mechanism of imine in amine tautomerization so that's the mechanism of imine and in amine tautomer tautomerization next type is cyanamide and carbodiamide tautomerism this is nitrile which tautomerizes into this carbodiamide if you see closely have a look at the closer closer look at this structure there is a triple bond between carbon and nitrogen which switches into carbon double bond nitrogen on both sides so carbon makes two double bonds with two nitrogens one on the right and one in the left that is carbodiamide and that is another type of tautomerism next is guanidine 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 tautomerism so this is a guanidine guanidine is a functionality having NH2 group and NH group and carbon double bond na nitrogen group that is uh, that tautomerizes this double bond between carbon and nitrogen tautomerizes towards this nitrogen this nitrogen donates this proton to the nitrogen which is attached with R and the double bond is shifted toward that nitrogen that is guanidine guanidine and next is also guanidine so this double bond shifts towards this nitrogen and this nitrogen that's the proton so this is the triple guanidine tautomerism that exists in the guanidine functionality okay let's move on to the next tautomerism amide imidic acid tautomerism we already discussed this tautomerism so imidic acid and amide functionality they are the tautomers and again this is also amidic form or amide form which is tautomerizes into imidic acid the nitrogen donates the proton towards oxygen the proton attached with nitrogen shifts towards the oxygen and the double bond it moves from carbon double bond oxygen to carbon double bond nitrogen that tautomerism is amide imidic acid tautomerism next we already discussed the lactam lactam tautomerism so it tautomerizes in the cyclic amides a form of tautomerism occurring in lactam lactam intercombination as a result of migration of hydrogen between the nitrogen atom and the oxygen atom it represents a special case of amide imidol tautomerism next already discussed imine in amine tautomerism so the carbon double bond nitrogen moves to make carbon double bond carbon and nitrogen gets the proton in case of inamine that is the imine inamine tautomerism next is old oxime keto oxime tautomerism so what happens in this tautomeric form is this proton is shifted uh, replaced with uh, r group so if proton is that ald means aldehyde so that that comes from aldehyde and that is replaced with r prime and that becomes keto oxime next type of tautomerism is nitroso oxime tautomerism so nitroso is called nitrogen double bond oxygen is called nitroso and oxime is called carbon double bond nitrogen and nitrogen containing oh group so nitroso what happens is the proton that is attached with carbon shifts towards oxygen and that becomes oxime that's it and the double bond also moves from double bond moves also from nitrogen double bond oxygen to carbon double bond nitrogen in oxime so that is called nitroso oxime tautomerism that is another type of tautomerism that's it my slides and here
if you have any further questions regarding tartamism please drop your uh, questions in the comments below thanks for watching take care bye